All right, well, I've read a little bit more of this. I read a section of this suicide note, uh, a commenter recommended, and then I started reading a little bit after it. Now, it is interesting. I'm not going to back out of saying that it's uh, going to be whiny griping. I think uh, it is. But it is definitely a more subtle... Um, there's definitely some interesting issues here. You know, I'm definitely sort of interested to say, yeah, you raise these questions, where are you going to come out on them? Um, I'm rating him talking about... The Holocaust, and if you had to look at the Holocaust, you know, impersonally, and then you're not allowed to talk about the cruelty of the concentration camps, that's not exactly uh, objective either. I mean, that is a real part of it. And so he's looking at, at you know, how could such a question be answered fail, fairly, and he's kind of figuring out that, that it isn't, um, it, it, it can't be done fairly. Now, an interesting thing I learned, now I'm not believing any of the facts that I read there, but then he was talking about Jung, and I, I was like, what? And I'm getting the idea that Jung was an anti-Semite, and his split with Freud was involved. How, some of you are going, what period didn't know that? I have a funny relationship with Jung. I've never read Jung, except for I have a translation of the I Ching by him. Um, and I always kind of thought I should, and people bring it up. It's kind of like people... Sometimes when they hear my philosophy, they go, oh, you sound like a Buddhist, you're an honorary Buddhist. And you're like, oh, maybe I should read more Buddhist literature or something. And Jung uh, is somebody like that, and yet I never really have gotten around to it. And it turns out he, like Heidegger, is a stinking Nazi. And I have to tell you, by the way, one of the reasons I'm sensitive to this is that people in the West um, accused Nietzsche, Nietzsche of being a Nazi. Um, and he had a huge breakup with one of his best friends, Wagner, over, you know, sort of the pre-Nazi um, development of, of, of Nazi kinds of ideology. So he's falsely accused. The world accepts Heidegger knowing he's um, a, a Nazi, an actual Nazi, and not just a sympathizer, not just in that era, but a Nazi. And Jung not only was, but... Now, the ironic thing in this suicide note is the guy's sort of saying people couldn't face, face social, sociobiology, you know, and the ideas in it that you might have certain ideas because of your, you know, your racial background. And um, so, I don't know, the guy was kind of coming down on the, maybe Jung was on to something, I don't know. It's a, definitely some weird ideas from a, a suicidal guy, so I'm not backing out of the, it being whiny griping. But I did sort of suspect maybe there would be, you know, words in here worth debating the issues that are raised. So, um, so I've dug into it a little bit. And, um, yeah, that's interesting. So mostly I made this video, though, because isn't it funny how you could go all this time and not, I mean, I just never looked into Jung that much. I just hear things about him and people don't bring up, oh yeah, by the way, he was a Nazi. Liberal Buddhist types. Because it's not important.